All right, it's Tuesday night, 7 p.m. Just got back from headquarters. Day two. Uh, day two was much slower than day one. They kind of changed it up a little bit and started doing the counseling in unit instead of in headquarters and then sending anybody who didn't comply after counseling to human resources. Let me make this very clear. No matter what unit you're in, and please spread this word, you are entitled to union representation if you are getting counseled. You are not entitled to a lawyer, but you are entitled to union representation anywhere you are in the city. If your unit is being designated for this COVID vaccine portal stuff, contact the lodge so we know exactly where these counselings are going on so we can come out there. They are trying to coerce cooperation with the portal without getting to headquarters because they know that's where we are at. They don't want us talking to members. They're trying to get them to cooperate prior to even seeing FOP representation. But make sure you call the lodge and let us know. Make sure you spread the word to everybody you know. Do not go into any counseling session until an FOP representative is with you, please. So today, the numbers were extremely small. It, about 15 officers were given the order, 12 complied with the portal uh, after filling out the two from, and three stayed in an no paid status. Uh, tomorrow, it seems that even though we have a court hearing at 9.15 in the morning, they're going to proceed with more uh, counseling and strippings if needed. I'm to believe that it's going to be primarily the rest of the people and units inside headquarters. But again, they're not very clear intentionally. So it's incumbent upon every member to pass the information to us as quickly as possible so we can address it as quickly as possible. They didn't start almost two, two hours plus late today. I don't think they're going to start at 8. I know they got a meeting at 8 in the morning. There's also a graduation ceremony, kind of ironic. One part of the day they're giving out new stars, the other part of the day they're willing to take them away. This is really an upside down world. But 9.15 a.m., our temporary restraining order filing will be heard uh, by the newly appointed judge. There is also a filing for a consolidation of all of this into one case. That will be heard in the morning. I still do not have the Zoom link, but as soon as I do, I will share it so everybody can log in and watch the, the, uh, the hearing live themselves. There will then be a 1 p.m. hearing about our uh, request and filing to have um, Judge Horan recused from the case and the temporary restraining order and gag order lifted. Uh, it is only about social media and it is specifically to the portal and to the direct orders. I'm not going to touch on either one of those right now. Everybody knows our stance. Uh, tomorrow morning is going to be a big, uh, I guess, fulcrum, so to speak, on which way this, this balance tips. The mayor, the superintendent have been outright lying to the media and playing possum. They know that members are intentionally not complying because of their own fruition. This isn't anything the FOP is doing. There is a reason they didn't get the vaccine to begin with. There's a personal decision, but more importantly, this is still all about contractual rights. The mayor has not once touched on it. Shame on the media for not asking it directly. It is as simple as why is the city not in arbitration with the FOP and the, four, uh, the three other police unions over this matter? The demand for arbitration was given in writing and in person, and the city has ignored it. That is the next step in this process. Everything else is noise. And that's all that comes out of the fifth floor of City Hall and the fifth floor of 35th in Michigan. Literally, we could be in arbitration and having an arbitrator decide this matter and what the policy needs to be by the end of this week, in theory, or right away, the beginning of next week. There is no reason for any other member to be subjected to the mental torture of making a decision of standing by their brothers or sisters or putting food on their table. But that's intentionally a decision this department and this mayor is making time and time again. 
I will say it as clear as day. Every exempt rank member should be ashamed of themselves for calling themselves a leader. Not one had the courage to stand up and say publicly, this is wrong. We should not be doing this to our members, but they are. And the ones that are partaking in this process will never recover their reputation. It will forever be soiled for doing the dirty work of the mayor and apparently the superintendent who finally showed up. We took his face off the milk carton finally and decided to appear. Um, it's disgraceful what this department has turned into. But as long as we stand united, we're going to be okay. It is literally us against them at this point. It's sad to say it has to be that way, but none of them have shown they give a damn. They haven't stood, off, stood up for us here. They have not. They didn't show up to D.C. They keep talking about the four COVID deaths. The superintendent had the nerve to talk about the four COVID deaths from last year. The mayor had the nerve to talk about the four COVID deaths last year, but neither one of them were in Washington, D.C. for the memorial, period. So how much do they care? None of them, don't forget, were at the bond hearing for Ella French's murder or Carlos's shooter or Josh's for that matter. Disgusting. And now they strip Josh's mom. They put her at the front of the list instead of at the back as if she hasn't been through enough in the last three months. <laughs> I mean, what passes for logic in this police department is pretty sad. Um, but stay tuned. We will see what happens uh, come tomorrow morning. The general meeting that was set for 12 o'clock tomorrow, the regularly scheduled meeting, is being pushed back to 7 p.m. so we can see what we have to work with in the courts and uh, provide more accurate information at the general membership meeting. Hope to see you all there tonight, tomorrow night. Till then, stay tuned. There will be lodge representation at headquarters. And it's all right, I don't know why that cut off there. There will be an attorney and a couple field reps at headquarters. There will be others available to go out wherever in the city these counseling sessions are occurring. Um, and again, try and make it to the meeting tomorrow night. And let's support our brothers and sisters who made the hard choice to go to a no pay status yesterday and today and whatever happens tomorrow. Um, Godspeed.